All right. If you are wondering about the 40 man roster, which I've always wondered about growing up, I'm like, what is that? And options like the player was option. Does that just mean sent down to AAA? Not necessarily. Um, and the rule how the rule five draft factors in all this. I'm going to explain it to you. So you've come to the right place. Um, I'm going to try to be as concise and as detailed and brief as possible. So so that we can just get to the nitty gritty. So. Let's jump right into it. So first things first, to be the 40-man roster, to be on the 40-man roster means, first, first of all, that you're on a major league contract, okay? So all the guys, I'm using this example, this is out of the park, Baseball 23. Uh, it's just kind of a computer app game, lets you run simulations and stuff. It's pretty cool. All the out of the parks, this is the most recent one, but they all have the up-to-date 40-man roster rules so um in this case all the players here on the rockies all 26 of them have to be on the 40 man roster because they're on the active roster they're on major league contracts okay so that leaves you with uh what 14 potential remaining spots if you want on your secondary roster and so that would be putting minor league players onto the onto the 40 man roster Okay, so what does that mean exactly? Why would a minor league player be on the 40-man roster? Well, what it does is it protects him ultimately from being, being pulled off of the team from the Rule 5 draft. So the Rule 5 draft happens every year. And what teams can do is pick any players that are not protected. Okay, so protected means you're either on the secondary man roster or... Let's take this off of the uh, MLB website or players that were signed when they were 19 or older and have played professional baseball for four years or 18 and have played for five years. So I guess that puts you at 23, but that's assuming you've, you've played every year straight through, you've accumulated those years. So pretty much it's saying young, you know, young players or players that are that are new, they're probably still in rookie ball or maybe like double A or something. Maybe they've moved up quick and they're in triple A, but they don't need to be protected yet. They don't need to be on your 40 man roster because they can't get picked by other teams. Now, if you were to bring them up into the majors, then they have to remember, they have to be on your 40 man roster. But if they stayed in the minors, they can stay on that minor league contract. Um, they don't need to be purchased onto a major league contract. So remember, everyone on the 40-man roster has to be on a major league contract, even if they are in the minor leagues, okay? So now, how does it work to, let, so why would a team have 33 players, let's say? Now that's kind of, kind of short. Usually teams aren't gonna have that low of players on the 40-man roster, but they might have 36, 37, 38, keep a couple spots open. Um, well, first of all, remember, you're paying all of these contracts. So every player on the 40 man is on a is on a major league contract. It's the minimum uh, if they've been brought up from the minors or on the minimum, uh, but they are being paid. Right. So that's the first thing. Secondly, um, teams like to have room. They like to keep room because if you sign, let's say, sign somebody, a free agent. Well, if you have 40 out of your 40 spots filled, then you have to either release somebody or we'll get into this in a minute, wave and DFA them to get them off of your 40 man. But uh, but teams like to have the little room. They might wanna bring somebody up that's not on the 40 man yet. They might wanna bring them up to the major leagues onto their active roster. So in that case, if they're not yet on the 40 man, then they, you know, they would need to be put on the 40 man to be on the active roster as well. So if you had all 40 spots taken, you'd have to free up a spot. You'd have to release somebody or waive and DFA them. So let's get into the waiver process and, and DFA, which is designated for assignment. So what that means is you're being taken off of the 40 man roster. So if you're, let's say there's a couple of reasons that they might do that. We'll get into options in a minute because that's one of the reasons uh, option years, but one of the, re the other reason could be because you're just not performing well. You might be in the minors, you might be in the minor leagues like triple A or whatever, and, and you're protected because you're a valuable prospect early on, but it's been a couple of years or whatever, and you just haven't panned out and teams don't think you're valuable enough 
to continue protecting. They don't think you're going to be picked up by another team. So in that case, you can waive, waive and DFA a player. You have to do that to take them off of the 40 man roster. Okay. So that's the only way you can remove somebody from the 40 man is by waving them a DFA. And then that makes room for another spot. Now, what happens when you're waived as a player, you're waived, you designated for assignment is it's basically like a real time rule five draft. Anyone can pick you up. Any team can pick you up uh, if they have room on their 40 man roster. Right. So, and if, and if they have enough you know, money to, to pick up that contract. So sometimes those contracts are higher. Sometimes players will get waived because they're on bigger contracts and a team is hoping to get that contract picked up by another team. Or more often than not, it's uh, usually because they're just trying to make room on the 40 man and it might be somebody that's on the minimum and they're just trying to take them off their secondary 40 man roster, okay? So once that happens, if you clear waivers, you haven't been picked up by anybody, now you can get sent back down to the minors. You can get sent into the minor leagues. Um, but again, another team may pick up that player as well and then take their contract. And in that case, they have to put that player on their 40 man roster. Um, and they don't, they don't have to be on the active roster, but they have to be on the 40 man roster. Now that would mean that they can get sent to the minors, right? So if you're on the secondary 40 man roster and you're not on the active roster and you're picked up off of waivers, that would mean you can get sent into the minors. So let's talk about being sent to the minors. Okay, so being sent to the minors, you hear players optioned to the minors. Well, you only have three option years in your career. So an option year means you're on the 40-man roster, that counts as an option year, and you're in the minor leagues. So you either were sent down or you're just down in the minors. So if you're up, like let's look at McMahon here, Okay, let's look at his contract. I don't think this is like real life per se, but he has one option year left. So earlier in his career, he would have used two already. He would have either been in the minor leagues on the secondary roster, on the 40 man roster, and just not come up. Um, but he just, he was just on the secondary roster in the minors. That counts as an option year. Um, or he was up in the majors and he was sent down into the minors that automatically counts as an option year too. And then there's also a certain amount of option times that player can get brought up and down within a year. I think it's like seven or eight. So you can't, you know, that's still a lot, but you can't just infinitely move them up and down as much as you please. But again, uh, you only have three in your career. So in, in McMahon's case right now, he has one left. If he were to get sent into the minors, that would be his, Final, he would that would be it. This is his last option year. He can come up and down, but then next year he's out of options. So he has to stay on the major league active roster. And the only way to put him down in the minors now would be to waive and DFA him, to take him off the secondary man roster, send him down to the minors. Uh, hope he doesn't get picked up by another team. Or if he does, they pick him up, but he's still out of options. He's out of option years. So he would have to remain on their active roster and on their 40 man, unless they too decide to waive NDFAM and hope nobody picks him up. And then if he does clear waivers, he can get sent to the minors. Okay. Now that's, that's also assuming you can, you being sent to the minors is also assuming that you don't have the right to refuse minor league assignment. So if you've accumulated, that's like a union thing. If you've accumulated a certain amount of, you're kind of a veteran accumulated a certain amount of years in the MLB you can refuse minor league assignment. So you, you just, you're guaranteed a spot on the major league roster unless they release you or they could still waive and DFA you, but then, uh, then they would have to either release you. DFA just means it's designated for assignment. It's like you're hanging out in limbo. Like you're not on a team. You're not in the minors yet. They just don't, you know, they haven't told you what they're going to do with you yet. So I guess players just continue to practice and hit or pitch or whatever. But, uh, but in that case, if you're waived and you're DFA'd um, and you have the right to refuse minor league assignment, then, then the team would have to release you and pay out your remaining salary or you know, trade you or figure something out, but they wouldn't be able to send you down in the minors. Some, some players do have the right to refuse minor league assignment, even though they have option years remaining. 
So you might like in uh, this McMahon case here, he's got an option year left. He hasn't accumulated enough time to refuse minor league assignment in this game. But uh, if he did, you could still try to send him down as an organization, um, but they can refuse that. So they might be like, hey, yeah, I want to go get my mechanics taken care of in AAA or whatever. And that might be the deal. And then we'll bring you back up. But uh, but again, if you've used all three of your option years in your career, then the only way to get you down in the minors is to waive and DFA you, thus taking you off of the 40 man as well. So then you'd be in the minors. Then if you were going to come back up, you'd have to get put back onto the 40 man. OK. Um, what else? Uh, so, again, to, to get picked off in the Rule 5 draft, you have to be unprotected. Um, the Rule 5 draft goes from reverse order of best of uh, yeah, reverse order of best to worst teams. So the worst teams pick first. And if you pick somebody in the Rule 5 draft, which happens every year, um, you have to stay on that team's active roster or on the injured list. So you're going to be on the on the 40 man roster. Unless you go to the 60 day DL, then you can be taken off of the 40 man, but you're still a part of that organization. Um, and then when you come back, you have to be put back onto the 40 man. Now, if you're not, if you're picked in the Rule Five draft and they want to send you to the minors, even if you have option years left, can't do that. Uh, you have to, you would be returning that player to their original team, to the team that they got picked from. And so you either have to keep them on your, 40 man and and you have to keep them on your active roster or on the 40 man and if they're injured then they can be on the injured list as well but they are taking up a spot on that 40 man roster unless they're on the long dl uh designated list injured list il whatever i, I think those are interchangeable but if you're on the 60 day on the long one you don't have then you are taken off of the of the 40 man so that would be the only exception um, basically that rule five draft is to prevent teams from hoarding good minor leaguers that could be playing in the majors. So it's kind of a cool system, uh, cause it allows you, you got all these, you have 40 spots out of your 26 guys. So you got 14 minor leaguers you can protect plus the guys that are auto protected that are still younger. Um, and after that, you know, if you've got, uh, players that other teams think that they can play in the majors then they would, they would pick those guys um, and they would keep them on their roster for the whole year or return them. So it gives guys a shot. Um, I believe Roberto Clemente, yeah, he was a Rule 5 pick. Some other big names, Johan Santana. Sorry, yeah, Johan Santana, Dan Ugla. So anyway, um, that's, the, that's how the Rule 5 draft works. That's how option years work. And that's how the 40-man roster works. So it is kind of confusing. You can't just get sent right down to the minors, like just uh, willy nilly brought up and down um, counts as using an option year. It can only happen a certain amount of times. And when you do come up, which makes sense, when you come up on the major league roster, you have to be on the minimum on the, on the MLB minimum salary. So there's all these guys remember on the 40 man are on a major league minimum, at least then of course you got the beer contract guys as well. So, Hopefully that answers all your questions. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I wish I would have known uh, more about this when I was growing up because I had no idea what people were talking about. But now you know what they mean when they say the guy was optioned down. He used one of his option years. He was claimed off of waiver waivers. That means, you know, a team took him off their 40 man and, and put him out for anyone to grab. And you know what the people mean when they say that guy was a rule five pick.